Hello and welcome back to our journeyman career mode here. We are still with Wellington Phoenix, our first club. We are yet to get our international job offer. Hopefully that comes through soon. Uh, we are towards the end of the season. There's about eight games remaining. So uh, we'll play one of those and then maybe hopefully we push through, play through the final and maybe... Maybe, fingers crossed, we can go and start looking for our uh, job in one of the Asian leagues. Uh, we've got a bit to take care of here today before we get into this episode. A couple of player upgrades. Right, the first player upgrade is for Hall, and this one comes from JB3 Sports Gaming. Thank you for your comment. 12 thumbs up. He's gone with the number 22 long sleeves, tight fit kit, red and black boots, blue and red wristbands, which you can't see under the sleeves, but if he takes them off, we will get to see them, and some low socks. So uh, Hawley is done. He's got a high potential, so we might see him play for his country in the future. Right, and the other player upgrade is for the uh, Icelandic goalkeeper in Omerson. This one comes from Big L Gaming. Thank you for your comment. Number one, red and blue boots, long sleeve undershirt, high socks, and some red and blue keeper gloves. Looking quite delicious there. And uh, you'd assume with a little bit more training, he'll probably get some starts for Iceland. So if we get into that uh, World Cup, uh, and, and they are there, we might come up against this lad. But let's jump into it. We've got some simulating, some games to play, and let's push on towards those finals. Right, so we've got February to deal with a lot of games here. Uh, I'm going to play the one towards the end of the season uh, here against the Mariners. Then we move into March. I might simulate through there uh, just to see how we're going and we can get in it to the finals campaign. Hopefully, we are still in contention. So, uh, let's get simulating. We'll get some youth ports for a pack. Uh, can't even get any words out, but uh, hopefully that, that fixes itself. Uh, we'll go and take on the Central Coast Mariners, so let's get simulating. First game at home here against the Brisbane Raw, and it's a 2-0 victory. Russo with two goals. Next game is at home against Sydney FC, and it's a 3-0 victory, but Bailey's got himself an injury. And it's a sprained knee. He is out for three weeks. Right, we're away to the Western Sydney Wanderers, and it's a 1-0 victory. Karelia with a goal. Right, a home game here against third place uh, Adelaide United. Taylor's been injured in the second minute, but we get the victory with Russo. It's 1-0. We've got a good run of form going. We're taking on the Newcastle United, a 3-1 victory, but Bado has got himself injured. Right, scout report is in from New Zealand. Declan Kelly, 45 to 61, 73 to 94. Looks like a goalkeeper. Could be handy. And uh, Charlie Wilson, 5'9, 46 to 62, 69 to 94. Let's bring them in to the academy. We are in Greece. We've got Elias Deligianis, uh, 64 to 86, the best of the crop. So we'll have to see what comes back next month. Right, we've got a full contingent of Egyptians here. Shihada, 70 to 94. El Hindi, 70 to 94. Abubakar, 69 to 94. Suleiman, 71 to 94. And Selman Imam is only 58 to 80, but he's got a very high overall. I'm going to scout them for another month uh, before we look at bringing some of these in. I just want to see where these potentials end up because there's a lot of Egyptians uh, in this report. Now, Bado has broken his tibia and he's gone for five months that means Hall is straight into the first team right time to get into the first gameplay of this episode uh, we are taking on the Central Coast Mariners uh, we've been in some hot form we're not top of the table that is Melbourne victory but uh, these boys looking in some uh, decent form uh, Hall has got a big job to do there 60 overall at left back but he's got high potential hopefully he can get going here today all right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Central Coast Mariners away from home. And uh, Wellington looking to build on this form, pressing for finals contention. And the player to watch is Singh. He's got 15 goals. I don't think he scored any in the simulation, so probably down to the six or so that we put in with him earlier on in the season. Uh, looking to look for another golden boot. Let's go. Oh, it does well, Karelia. Great save. Central Coast keeper. Well, we'll clear this one off. And see, pushes on forward, slips one through for Russo. Russo drives back inside, fires it off, gets the run, and it's another cracking save. Karachan inside, Omar has a strike, and fuck me, it's a goal. Central Coast Mariners break down our defence and find themselves a goal here, 34 minutes gone. It's unlucky because we have been in red hot touch. Unfortunately, Away from home, we see ourselves 1-0 down. Let's have a quick look at the replay here. Played inside, as the defence pulled apart. A quick fire shot, tails away from Omerson. It's 1-0. And as far as Rufa, quick touch on. Karelia! Oh my days, this keeper is pretty good. Let's take the game on, Sink. Still comes Sink. Oh, level referee! Well, there's the halftime whistle. We're 1-0 down. Rufa, intercept, finds Bailey. Really up, quick touch on. Rufa lays off, finds Singh, who can't finish. Russo to Singh. Plays 
comes back. Fenton. Gets his ball inside. Warrior gets the touch. Plays it off quickly inside. And that's got to be a goal. The onside he is. It's Carilia getting the equaliser in the 58th minute. A big finish lad up front. Oh, he loves a goal, doesn't he? Just inside an hour. And we finally, with the war of attrition, get through this defensive line. Find ourselves a goal. Carilia probably only just onside. The referee didn't see it if he was off. And who gives a shit? He's got the finish. And that's 1-1. All right, we'll make a change here. Bailey is dead. And we're going to bring on young White on the left-hand side. He's a right winger by trade. But he's got a bit of pace. So we'll see how he goes. Well, White gets the touch. Really up. Russo plays it through. Here is Singh. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, oh. Gets in. It's 2-1. Little Sink has done the business once again. Oh, you can't keep this man down for long. Russo feeds it inside. Quick touch. I think it was from Rufa or Mungu. And Sink has found the back of the net. Lovely finish. Gets in. Corner for Wellington. Sing drives inside. Here's the header. Oh, it's gone in. It's fucking Hall. Oh, goal for the young lad from right back. He rose majestically. Makes it 3-1, and Wellington have turned this game on its head. Paul was nowhere, just in front, sandwiched between two men. He gets himself a goal, probably his first career goal, you'd feel. Slightly balding at 15 or 16 years of age, but that's all right. He's maybe a little bit nervous. 3-1. Really up. Fires through. Sing! Oh, great save. Brown. Can't get that ball off. Find Singh. Oh, this man can't be stopped. Just put him in a position. He'll find himself a goal at 4 1. What on earth is this lad? Something special indeed. Gets in. Well, there is the whistle. We come back. It's a 4 1 victory. Well, how good is Singh? 20 shots to 3. And uh, you'd assume Singh takes about in the match he does with a 9.2. Well, it is the first of the month, and we've got a U-Squad monthly report. Danilo, Danilo Dominguez, 60 overall, but 69 to 83 has dropped away. But we can probably start filling up this squad in case we do move on. Uh, it be handy to have a full squad that they can sell players off and, and that kind of stuff. So we'll see how we go with Dominguez. El Hindi, 80 to 94, not ready at 15. Oliver Morris, 75 to 81. He's 61 overall, so it could help out if he does turn 16 in time. George Harrison's 55 overall, 79 to 85. Jamie Jackson, 54 overall, 74 to 80. Ed Martin, 53 overall, 6 foot 5, 78 to 94, and uh, looks pretty good, but we'll hold for now. Declan Kelly as well looks like a good option. Charlie Wilson, 55 overall, 76 to 94. He's a playmaker from right back and 18 years of age. Let's uh, promote him to the senior team. Uh, Elias is 84 to 90, 58. We'll hold for now. Ethan Davies is probably. Mm, He's dropped off, so uh, we might release him, actually, just to free up some spots. And uh, Salo, 81 to 87, another right back. I'm actually going to release him as well. Right, so we're here in March. We've got two games against Melbourne and then Melbourne Victory, who are on top of the table. I'm not going to play these games because we will qualify for finals. And uh, we want to get through and see if we can get that final done. Uh, and hopefully, if we get that done, we can look for a new club. So let's get these final two games simulated, see where we finish the season, and uh, look for a decent finals campaign. Right, a home game here against Melbourne City. Rufa puts in in the first minute, and it's a 3-1 victory. Right, it's the final game of the season. We're taking on the league leaders. Melbourne victory away from home. Russo hits it up, and it ends up as a 2-2 draw. Right, players leaving on international duty. Karelia has been called up for Finland. Dadu for South Africa. Fenton, Singh, McGlinchey, and Morgan, and Bailey for New Zealand. And Omerson called up for Iceland. We finished the season in second place, and we get 67 grand. Right, scout reports are back in, and we've got a lad here, Patrick Cook, 48 to 66, 69 to 94, 775 evaluation. He can come straight into our academy. Right, Greece, we've got Delagianis, he's dropped away, but we've got Maka Samp Aras, 73 to 94, 6 foot 2. We'll monitor him a bit longer. Right, Egypt didn't really bring us back anything new, but uh, let's have a quick look at these lads. Uh, 87, 87, 89 at 6 foot 2 could be handy. Abubakar, 72 to 92 could be handy as well. And Imam's potential is still down a little, but he's got a decent rating. So probably these last three, I'm going to get rid of Shihata and uh, El Hindi. 
into a new month. Let's have a look here. Danilo Dominguez has dropped a little bit more, 74 to 82. Shakir Al Hindi has become available, 58 overall, 83 to 93 potential. Let's get him in, uh, promoted to the team. Uh, Oliver Morris still sitting there. George Harrison as well. Patrick Cook looks very good, 62 overall, 76 to 94 potential for New Zealand. That's a huge uh, asset to promote to the senior team. Jamie Jackson still looking okay. We'll hold for now. Ed Martin's dropped to a 90 potential, 91 for Declan Kelly. And uh, Ellis at 59 overall, 84 to 90. Let's get him in as well. And Garlo has won the manager award uh, for manager of the month. Right, so the league finished like this, and then we go into playoffs. So uh, we finished second. That means we automatically qualify for the uh, the semi-finals. The elimination finals were Adelaide have beaten Sydney, and uh, Melbourne City go through on penalties against the Central Coast Mariners. We move into the semi-finals. Melbourne victory are through. Over Melbourne City, we're going to have to take on Adelaide United. We will simulate that game and uh, get another crack here at Melbourne victory to uh, look for an A-League title. Right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Can we make the final? This is the semi-final against Adelaide United. We're on our home turf. Unfortunately, uh, Rufa had a red card, so Brown gets a start here. Bailey and Mungu get us off to a cracking start. We get to the halfway point. It's a 3-0 victory. We're going to the final. Right, the final scout reports are in. We've got another Bailey here in Elliott. 50 to 68, 69 to 94. Let's hope he turns 16 before we get to move on. Otherwise, these lads get lost and uh, they just don't get picked up. So hopefully he'll turn 16 before we move on to our new club. But welcome to the Youth Academy. Right, Greece, you've got three players here, and we've got Marcus Sampras, uh, 53 to 67, 76 to 94 will be coming in. We've also got Argus Korniakis, uh, 71 to 94 at six foot six, and Nico Centelidis, uh, 69 to 93, 55 to 73 at six foot four. Welcome to our youth academy. Right, so Egypt, Suleiman won't make the cut. Abubakar will bring in. Uh, Hassan Halal is a new lad here, 55 to 73, 74, 73 to 94, six foot tall, uh, 15. So we'll see how he travels. And uh, I was going to take a gamble, but that potential has dropped. So Halal and Abubakar, welcome to Wellington Phoenix. Right, we will continue to send the scouts out until we do get a new job. Just try and bring as many players as we can through. So uh, back off here to New Zealand. And we still don't have an international job, so that means we go to the comments. Leave me some more countries down below, and uh, we will head out to those. Put thumbs up on the countries you'd like to see a scout. The first one is from Fantaranjan Official. Scout Norway, Norway for any. Uh, let's get a real Viking in this team. 27 thumbs up, so we're off to Norway. And the next one is from Retro Boy, who wants us to scout Serbia for the next Gabrich. Well, Gabrich traveling very well in that Oldham series. 17 thumbs up, we're off to Serbia. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go once again. Another crack at the Melbourne victory. We need to get over the top if we want to push on to the second stage of this journey, man. Uh, the team has grown a little bit, looking pretty good. Singer to 78 now. Uh, Omerson up to 72. Should be able to help us out. And Carilia is 68 as well. So uh, a team coming along, a big team for the future. And let's hope that we can get the victory over the Melbourne victory. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go again. The A-League final, and well, we missed out last season against Melbourne. We want redemption here. And the two big heavyweights here of the A-League are going to go at it once again. Hopefully we can get a victory. That means we can start looking for a job in uh, the Asian continent. But we're not going to you know, count our chickens first because uh, we need to get the job done here. And Melbourne victory really put up a, a stiff, stiff game against this last time. Uh, but come on, boys. I've got a feeling that we might get the job done here today. Sink in some top four. We've grown, we've matured, and hopefully we can get the victory. Sink does get the touch. Drives his way forward here, Sink. Still coming. He's going to wait for the cavalry. Slips off. Bailey pushes forward. A young lad. He sets something up here. He'll drive inside. Look for Carilia, but blocked by Deng. Will be a corner here for Wellington. To take the ascendancy in this one. Singh drives forward. McGlitchy! Oh, big finish. The big man on campus. 1 0 Wellington Phoenix. And that puts us in the box seat, ladies and gentlemen. We've got a sniff of Asia coming in here with a lovely finish from McGlitchy. Big man rises and beats the keeper. All ends up. It's 1 0 to the Phoenix. And it's a free kick here for the Melbourne victory. It's a spitely match. Inside, oh no, look out, great save, Omerson, get in there, McGlitchy. Oh, it's offside. No, 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 great save, Omerson. Come on, collect your heads, boys. Oh, 
window. Let's see. Lays off. Rufa! Oh, yes! Gets in 2 0 Wellington. Oh, you can smell it. You can fucking smell it. They're out for blood. They want redemption. And it's 2 0 up. 36 minutes gone. Rufa with the goal. And Wellington Phoenix looking like they might take a title here. Two seasons here in control, Garlo. He's taken to the final once, and now we're here again. But let's see if we can get the victory. Oh, what was that, Fenton? Oh, we said. Well, we can see it on the halftime whistle almost and make it 2 1. Fenton sidestepped. Omerson made the rush, but couldn't get low enough to keep that ball out the back of the net. And the victory in now with a sniff of hope. To dig in and fight, boys. Uh, that was pretty average from Fenton. Why are you jumping for a header, mate? You're, you're not tall enough for that. You've left Omerson. You've hung him out to dry. And there's the half time whistle. Well, 2 1 up, but a big second half coming. Roof up. Finds Singh. Finds an opening. Oh, yes, lad. We've been waiting for that. Oh, this man is something special here. A hidden gem here in the A-League. If you are playing a career mode where you're looking for a young central attacking midfielder that can rip a game open, well, this might be your man. Supreet Singh is something scintillating. It's a cracking finish, and it's 3-1. Oh, McGlinchey, big tackle. Rufa to Singh. Really up. Lays one off. There's Russo. Drives inside. Russo! Oh, sidebar. Well, it's Melbourne with a free kick. Four minutes to go. We're looking like we're going to do something here. Singh, Karelia, Bailey, Harris Singh. What's he got left in the tank? He'll fire out for Russo. Russo hold up the play. Gets the run from Singh, but cleared away. And we're closing in on this A-League title. Yes, there it is. It's a victory in the A-League. We take the title. And our Group 1 stage is complete. We can now look for a job in the Asian leagues. That means we can go to Korea, we can go to Japan, we can go to China, or we could go to Saudi Arabia. We'll take the first job or the first league that does come our way. Because we want to get in there quickly, try and get this international job, which still has yet to rear its face. But uh, A-League champions, Wellington Phoenix and uh, Russo, with a title under his belt, will be looking to move on as well. Now, the way this works is uh, when we move on to the new team, I shortlist all of the lads that have some decent potential. And if any club comes in to make a transfer for one of these Wellington Phoenix players, we can try and dive in, block the transfer, and maybe bring one of those lads to us. We can't actually go in and buy any players unless they are being sold. Now, I'm going to put that stipulation in for regens and youth players only. Uh, so that means Singh is free to go wherever he wants. I know he's, he's a bit of a crowd favourite here already, but uh, we'll let him go on his way, let him continue his career. Uh, unless we get the New Zealand job, then we might have to look at uh, maybe getting him across for some training. But uh, we've done it. Here is the A-League. Take it. And we can now go and look for a new job. Right, 12 shots to five, we get the job done, and uh, well, it's Sing again, a man of the match. We didn't even make any substitutions. Right, great work from the board, and another 200 grand, well done. Right, so we've won the title, that means we can start looking for a job now. There's only really a couple of months where jobs do become available, they're not available all the way through the season. So we might not get lucky here going through to June, we may have to go into a new season and the likes. Um, and then it's like September or October before you can actually get a new job. But sometimes you get lucky in May and June. So I, I'm going to start scouting and having a look around, uh, see if any jobs come up available. Uh, we will be back once uh, we either get to the end of the season or I see if some jobs have become available. We obviously need to do a squad report, have a look at this team and see who we want to shortlist moving in it to the new season. Right, as we are moving on, uh, we need to uh, basically sign up as many youth players as we can. Let's just get this squad full so they can regenerate through the game and they'll just be solid players everywhere. So, uh, uh, Corny Arkakis, or whatever his name is, he can come in, promote to the senior team. Sampras as well, promote to the senior team. Dominguez will get a contract here for Wellington. Oliver Morris as well. 
Uh, Harrison, for sure. Come on in. Come on down. Everyone, welcome to this team. Ed Martin as well. And uh, it's only the 15-year-olds that we're going to miss out on at the moment in Halal. Abubakar, which would have been solid there for Egypt at the back. Kelly looks good as well. And obviously, Elliot Bailey. Hopefully, they turn 16 before we move on. Right, we've moved into June and Abubakar is available. So we'll sign him up. Right, we get a scout report back, and uh, Charlie Mitchell, 72 to 94, Billy Turner, 71 to 94, and Taylor Lee, 78 to 94, six foot five. Looks like a big goalkeeper. Uh, the 15 year old, uh, well, we'll bring them all in and uh, see who we can sign up. Right, three big Norwegians, 77 to 94, 70, 67 to 93, and uh, Dahl, 74 to 94, we'll bring them all in. And only one Serbian to bring in, and he is only 15, but it's Branko Nikolic. Right, so we've pretty much got to the end of the season. There's only a day left before the season changes over and I haven't been able to find a, uh, a new job. There was only one job offer that came up and it was for PSV. There was nothing else. Uh, so we're going to have to uh, progress into the next season, simulate through basically until the jobs start becoming available. I'm pretty sure it's around September, October uh, we can start looking for those jobs. So it just means that we can bring some more youth into this, get some more training in and really build up Wellington Phoenix. Hopefully an international job comes through. But let's go and finish off this season by looking at the details and uh, the, the squad report as well. So Omerson 73, he's gone up 11. Martins at 55, Nunez 58, up 6. Fenton 66, Wilson 56, up 1. Morris 61, uh, Dominguez is a 61, up 1 with no potential. Bubakar 54, Harrison at 56. Uh, McGlinch is a 72, up 2. Bedeau 68, up 6. <coughs> oh. Uh, Connor Hall, 65 up 8 with the potential to be special. Mancilla showing great potential is a 60 up 2. Sampras, 59 up 1. Alexander, 58 up 5. Dadu, 63 up 6 with no potential. Hall's a 58 up 4. Jackson, 55 up 1. Morgan's a 60 up 4, no potential. Russo, 72 up 4. Of course, he's an exciting prospect. We will uh, put in an offer to bring him wherever we go. Uh, Kuroki is a 62 up 5, showing great potential. Mungu, showing great potential, 74 up 4. Uh, Lee is a 60 up 6 with no potential. Murphy, a 51 up 5. Moore's a 56 up 4. Brown, showing great potential, 60. 61 up 4. Bailey showing great potential. 61 up 8. Singh is a 78. El Hindi 58. Cook an exciting prospect. 63 up 1. Carilia an exciting prospect. 68 up 8. Elias is an exciting prospect. 60 up 1. So Finn look like they've got some uh, talent coming through. Uh, Davis 59 up 6. White showing great potential. 62 up 3. Hill potential to be special striker here for Australia. 60 up 3. Uh, Centralitas is a 61 up one. We have Corniakis 57 up one. And uh, they've got Sheridan there. Quick look at the stats. Singh wins the golden boot. Russo picks up 10. Rufo with seven. Uh, so not a bad turnaround there for Wellington. Rufo got eight assists. Singh got eight assists. Sheridan with five assists. Fenton with four. Bailey with four. And uh, clean sheets. Well, Omerson got himself 11. Didn't win the golden glove. And a few yellow cards there for Rufo. He got himself five. Right, so we have won the title. We can look for a new job. I'm going to progress into the new season. Uh, we'll get simulating. We'll get scouting. We're not caring about how Wellington goes now. We're just going to try and bring some talent into this team and start looking for a new job. Let's go. Right, we'll continue to scout, of course. So we're here in New Zealand. We've got Lance Morgan, 69 to 93, and Brandon Green, 70 to 94. Welcome to the Academy. And Norway has brought us back Jan Fredriksen, 50 to 70, 73 to 94 potential. A big goalkeeping option here. Welcome to Wellington. And Serbia has brought us back pretty much nothing. Vinsky is the best player, but we're not going to sign him. Right, the Youth Academy looking pretty full once again. Uh, Charlie Mitchell at 51 overall. We'll hold for now. Taylor Lee looks very good. Uh, so we'll sign him in 78 to 94 on New Zealand keeper. Uh, Thomason still okay, but 49. Fredrickson, centre midfielder. And Dahl, they've got low, low overalls. We'll see if we can get them in. Lance Morgan does look good at 56. And uh, the goalkeeper, Jan Fredrickson, 60 foot, mate. Get this kid in. Huge. Right, final scout report for New Zealand. We've got nothing, so uh, we'll move on. We've got Norway. We've got Olaf Horgan, 68 to 92. We'll bring him into the academy. And Serbia has brought us back an absolute gem in Milad Marriage, 53 to 73, 68 to 94, a million dollar valuation. Let's get him in. He'll probably come straight into the first team. Right, we'll continue scouting while we are looking for a new job. I think that's probably still a couple of months away. So let's send off to Australia. And from the comment section, we've got Ulrich Kusert, who wants Japan for wingers. And the next one is from Jesma14, who wants Venezuela for physically strong. Right, let's have a look at this academy and see who's worth clearing out. 
Not sure we need many more goalkeepers, so Kelly can go. Uh, Charlie Mitchell dropping away a little bit. He is 18 years of age. Might be handy, though. Uh, there is a few strikers we've brought in. I'm actually going to release him. Uh, Bailey looking okay at 60. Billy Turner is a bit low. Thomason still looking okay there, uh, as well as Fredrickson and Dahl. Nikolic, 77 to 94. Lance Morgan has dropped away. I'm going to release him. Uh, Brandon Green. Horgan, 55 overall, 68 to 92. Millard, match 64 overall, 68 to 94. Left midfield up, brilliant, just what we needed. All right, scout reports are back once again. Australia brings us Dylan Bailey, 67 to 89. We'll move on. Japan brings us back Matsato Heshida, 47 to 63, 74 to 94. We'll monitor his progress. And Venezuela's brought us back a few lads. Bruno Nunez, 69 to 94. Simon Sandoval, great moustache, 67 to 91. But the one I'm looking at here is Reynaldo Diaz, 72 to 94. A high potential player by the looks of things. Let's get him in to the academy. Scout reports are back again. We've just hit September. Callum Griffiths here for Australia, 52 to 72, 69 to 94. A million dollar evaluation. We're bringing in some new talent that is going to be scattered all across the world. But welcome to the academy. Right, we are here in Japan. Hashida, we're going to hold off on, but uh, Aishiro Aishinomori, 71 to 94, 670 evaluation. Welcome to the academy. Venezuela, we've still got Nunez and Sandoval. We've also picked up Guzman, 50 to 66, 72 to 94. We'll see how he develops. And let's check on the youth academy. Halal, you're not going to make the cut now. Release. Uh, Callum Griffiths, decent. Welcome to the first team. Uh, an 86 there now for Bailey. We'll see how he goes. Billy Turner's dropped away. I'm going to release him. Uh, Thomason coming up. Fredrickson, 87. We will release. Dahl, 93. Nikolic, 93. 94 for Ishinomori. Okay. Uh, Brandon Green, Horgan, and Diaz looks good. 80 to 94. Promote. A few moments later. Right, so here we go. 4th of November. The job started coming through about the 20th of October. I've got through to the 4th and we've finally got an Asian league uh, that we can go and have a look at. So let's go and have a look at the job offers and we'll pick one of where we're headed for stage 2 of this journeyman career. Right, so we've got the K-League here in Korea. Uh, we've got a few teams on offer. Now, you need to take a look at, one, their league position, two, how far they are through the season, and three, the objectives. Because uh, if you can't hit the objectives and they're late in the season, which this one's already 33 games in, you could be in real strife. Uh, so... Hyundai looks all right, um, but they are in first, and we don't really want to take a team that's sitting in first. Song Bum, great name for a goalkeeper. Um, what else have we got here? We've got Samsung, no Dong. <laughs> that's a good name for a goalkeeper as well. They sit in fifth, so there's an interesting option. Uh, we've also got FC Seoul, who sit in third, and uh, Yun Suk Young, okay, some big names there. Park Chu Young is uh, their striker. Um, and that's it, so we've just got the three teams. So uh, I'm going to take Samsung. They sit in fifth. Let's hope that we uh, don't get fired or we'll have to look for another Asian job. But Samsung, will they let us come over to the, uh, the Korean League? Let's see if we can get the job. Right, and we're just in time for the final scout reports as well. Uh, so Elliot Murphy, will sign him in. Uh, Matsado Yasuda in Japan here, 74 to 94. Looks like he could be a striker. We'll sign him in. And the Venezuelans haven't really brought anything, so we'll forget that one. Right, with us moving on, we might as well get in as many of these players as we can. So let's just promote them as many as we can to the senior team. They'll have a full squad going on and uh, some high potential players that we might be able to pick off in the future. Unfortunately, we're going to miss out on Bailey, Nikolic, Green and uh, Elliot Murphy when we move on because they're not of age. And the Wellington side, if you're interested, currently looks like this with Carilia up front at 70, Singh, Mungu's up to a 75. Uh, Fredrickson there at a 69 coming along nicely and they've got a, a maximum huge fucking squad now uh, with high potential players that will grow, that will be sold and we might be able to pick up some of those in the future. Maybe we will get one of these countries if we ever get this fucking international job. Right, Samsung are happy to have us on board. 16 grand a week they're going to pay us and uh, they look forward to working with us. So here we go. We are off to Korea. I'm going to accept this job. And uh, we will see you in the next episode where we start our next campaign in Korea. I'm Aspiring DK, it's 5 o'clock somewhere, and you have a good one. This video is powered by Neurotech and their product. 
clarity. Now you can jump over to their website now, use the discount code DK10 for 10% off your next purchase. And uh, I highly recommend this product, I use it every single day. It increases your energy, your focus, while reducing fatigue and stress. If you wanna know how I get out all these videos and keep that work going, this is the product for you. So go and check it out. All the information that you need is on that website. If you feel like making a purchase, chuck in at that discount code for 10% off. Now, if you are looking for more fresh content to check out, you can click one of these two videos. If you feel like subscribing, well, there's a button right there. Make sure you put on that notifications bell, and we'll see you next time.